following on from the videos that I did on Tori and uh, I've done on Dimitri, sorry to say, people, it's another depressing one coming your way. Devon's karma. Now, the show has told us time and time again, whenever a character does something, inevitably they will face repercussions and consequences for their actions. And I feel like it's such poetic justice and timing that after Devon sabotaged Kenny, with Mitch's laxative, she's got a spot on the Sekai Taikai, right as Tori joins the enemy. And it's not just any Tori. It's a rage-filled, just-lost-her-mother Tori. I think Devon is going to get a full force impact from either Tori or one of the other girls in the tournament, um, the one that is also meant to be on Team Cobra Kai. Devon is definitely going to be another sacrifice. And I know people could say to me, Jacob, what gives this away? I feel like Dimitri alone is too obvious. I think this tournament is for all intents and purposes, the Karate Olympics, and people are going to get hurt. This is another one. There's going to, this is, and the thing is, it's crazy because Cobra Kai in essence was to teach a kid how to defend himself from bullies, how to teach you know, a young boy grow his hair and become a badass, how to teach a, another boy to stay away from trouble and change his life or to teach a girl self-defense and protect her family. I'll, it, you'll know the four characters I just mentioned. But now we're literally in a karate war. Like, and we have been for the last three seasons or four seasons now, even to season two, you know, it's a full on karate war. And in every war, there is casualties. Devon is another one that, for me, is high on that list. And I think this could be a catalyst to bring Tori back to the light. I think there's going to be many, many different things that bring Tori back to the light. And I think Devon is going to be 100%. I also feel like as the story progresses and as the tournament continues, there's going to be many different things that pull Tori back to the light. And I think Sam is going to play a huge component of that. Robbie, definitely. But I think that will be a very 50-50 situation because of the betrayal and the mixed feelings. And let's just call it what it is. Robbie and Tori love each other. Let's just, just cut straight to the point. It's a lover's quarrel. Um, but Sam will play a huge component in that. And Devon almost has a relationship to Tori the same way Kenny does to Robbie. It's a very mentor like um, uh, guide, if you will. So to see at the sidelines, Tori's standing there in the tournament. Devon gets completely dropped on the floor. Just imagine what that will do to Tori emotionally. She, you know, yes, her headspace will be that of, okay, I'm here to win. I have to fight my mom, blah, blah, blah. However, when she sees Devon go down, it's going to be like, what would my mom want? Stuff like that. And especially given that Devon and Tori have some very similar connections in terms of their history with their mothers, I think that's going to hit Tori on a different level. And it's going to be extremely difficult to watch. And I would put money on Dimitri and Devon to be the two that go down. There's got to be a reason that Kenny and Anthony are called in. You know, we've seen in the behind the dojo, uh, inside the dojo, or the behind the scenes thing, we've seen that both of them are in the keys. So quite simply put, why are they that? How, what, what's the sacrifice for them to get there? I don't feel like it's Miguel. I don't feel like it's Robbie. I certainly don't feel like it's Hawk. They're too obvious and you can't get rid of Sam. So those four are locked in. The only two spots that are destined to be taken is Dimitri and Devon's places, which, you know, let's be real. Kenny should be there. Um, and I think to see Devon go down with all of her ambition and all of her determination, it's going to be hard to watch. Now, I will be fascinated to see what Sensei Kim's reaction to this is, because in season five, Sensei Kim says, hey, you know, you're the future of this dojo, not Tori. So now she's working with Tori. They really do need to address the fact, and especially to Kree saying, hey, this psycho made me punch literal concrete and, and stood on my broken arm. Like, she's a psycho, you know? Like, don't, if you're gonna do any kind of redemption for Sensei Kim, do it earned, like make sure it's earned. Don't just have a look at Quan beating the crap out of someone and go, oh my God. Cause in that moment when Quan beats up Yoon, she has that look, that look, that redemption look, uh, of, that look of like, oh my God, what's my student becoming? It's like, you were literally torturing a child the season prior, like, okay. Um, yeah, I hope they address that. But with regards to Devon, 
I think the reason why Mike was so hesitant to add Devon in is he saw her ambition clouding her judgment. And he saw from a mile away exactly the type of person she is. Because what other reason does Mike have to dislike Devon during the trials? It's probably because he saw something the others didn't. He saw something a mile off. Now, Mike Barnes, for all intents and purposes in his backstory, he's probably dealt with some people that have stepped over lines, have, you know, walked all over him, treated him like trash. And hence why, very similar to Sean, I did a video on Sean years ago saying the reason why Sean is the way he is, is not because of himself, it's because of the environment he's in. You have to stand up for yourself because it's a dog eat dog kind of situation. If you don't stand up for yourself, who will? So he probably sniffed out the BS straight away with what Devon was doing. And yeah, you could look at it as Devon was just determined. She was wanting to prove herself. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it was ego. Let's just call it what it is. This is one of those times it was ego. Her ego was way ahead of itself. And Dimitri and De Devon are going to be a firm reminder to what happens to people who do have ego. Whereas with Miguel, Hawk, Robbie and Sam, anytime they've gotten a dub, it's because of confidence and the power of belief. And I think Tori's quote unquote redemption that's meant to happen, the Miyagi-Do way, bringing her home, Devon is a key component of that. And it's going to be rough to see. You know, it, we're going to have to see Dimitri go down. That's one of Daniel's students. We're going to have to see Devon go down. That's one of Johnny's students. Balance. You know, it's it's going to be tough to watch. It's not going to be... It's not like they're just going to do one match and get knocked out. Devon and Dimitri will contribute to the success by gaining points in the games and the skills and the challenges. But when it comes down to throwing down an actual fight... From what we've seen, or if you have seen, of the female fighters that are in this tournament, yeah, Devon, I would put money on Devon going out. I, I, I really would. Um, she may make it the whole way, but I just don't see it happening. And with Tori being on the other side, there's just no way. And I think part of Sam's arc is reaching out to Tori. Guys and girls, jump in down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree with any of the points that I've raised in this video. And what are your thoughts on Devon's character arc so far? I know everyone's kind of conflicted. Not many people like it. And it is the main thing people have, let's say, quote unquote, you know, for lack of a better term, complained about in terms of season six, part one. But I think part two is going to serve her an ice cold can of, of karma right her way and it's tough because at the same time yes she made a mistake yes she got ahead of herself but you're only human she made a mistake and she's do she's no different to any of the other fighters on, on in any of the dojos every single teen even adult is losing themselves in this fight every single person none of them are on the same page none of them have a clear goal in mind they're not in solidarity with each other and ultimately it's going to be what breaks them why did the avengers lose in infinity war they weren't in solidarity with each other they weren't fighting for the same thing they were they were doomed from the start so that's exactly what's going to happen here before miguel and robbie bring that trophy home we need a setback or two and the setback isn't tori joining the other dojo yes it's a setback but that's not the only one. There's way more to come. I mean, how, why is Spider-Man 2 regarded as the best, one of the best Spider-Man films of all time? Because it beats Peter down constantly. Doesn't stop. That movie is unrelenting. And that's what part two is going to be for all of our characters. It's just going to be nonstop hit after hit after hit. And then in part three, which we know little about, that's when the redemption piece happens. Return of the Jedi, baby. All right. I'll see you all in another video soon. I rambled on long enough.